The Earth has layers just like an onion. The outermost layer, the crust, is where earthquakes start. Below that is the mantle, which is kind of like melted plastic influencing our tectonic plates. Then we've got the outer core, a spinning liquid that impacts Earth's magnetic field. Finally at the center, the solid inner core. Now earthquakes mainly happen in the lithosphere, which includes the crust and the upper mantle. This layer is divided into tectonic plates that are always on the move. These plates are constantly on the move, driven by convection currents in the mantle. When they move, stress builds up along their boundaries. And when that stress is too much for the rocks to handle, it's released as an earthquake. There are three types of plate boundaries. At divergent boundaries, plates move apart, causing minor quakes. Convergent boundaries are where plates collide, creating powerful earthquakes and even tsunamis, like in the Himalayas. Transform boundaries see plates sliding past each other, causing strong, shallow quakes, just like the San Andreas Fault in California. In places like Japan and the Pacific Ring of Fire, volcanic eruptions can also trigger quakes. So next time the ground shakes, remember it's the Earth's way of releasing built-up stress. Stay curious, geology enthusiasts.